British Rail's high-speed trains depend for a large part of their exterior and interior appearance on the versatility of polymers. The task facing the designers was to create an aerodynamic shape which would also be strong enough to withstand high-speed impact with large birds. Both steel and aluminium were considered, but were rejected. The steel would have been too heavy. There would have been problems with welding, and the tooling costs would have been prohibitive for a limited production run of only 150 units. Aluminium panels would have required costly hand beating, and there would have been electrolytic problems set up between the aluminium and the steel frame of the train, which could have led to corrosion. The solution was to build the cab from GRP, glass reinforced plastic. The cab has two skins, the outside skin is yellow, the inside grey. The outer skin is made in one piece. Layers of glass fibre are placed one after the other on a mould carved from wood and plywood. Then they're impregnated with a plastic resin. The resin was especially developed to make it as fireproof as possible. The glass fibre is woven in a cross-plied sheet and these sheets are progressively layered so that the direction of the cross-ply is alternated giving the outer skin greater resistance to impact damage. The inner skin is made with three separate moulds. This is one of the moulds of the lower part of the skin. It's built up in the same way as the outer skin. Wood and metal inserts are also placed on the mould. These are covered with glass fibre and resin and form part of the moulding structure. Although the function of the wood is mainly to provide a location for the metal inserts, it incidentally gives additional strength and rigidity to the curved edge of the moulding. The metal insert provides a location for the bolts which join this inner skin to the outer skin. The inner skin is laid over the outer skin with a two and a half inch gap between the two. This cavity is made into sections of one meter square and then filled with a plastic foam. The foam is injected through tubes so that the cavity is completely filled. foam binds the two skins together and, more importantly, provides the great strength that the cab needs. The foam enables the cab to absorb the impact of a four-pound bird hitting the train at a combined speed of 125 miles an hour. The plastic used for the foam is rigid polyurethane, a thermosetting plastic often used when foaming is required. Plastics are also used in the new coaches because they're light, hard-wearing and easily cleaned. They can be formed into complex shapes and an unlimited number of different features can be built into their design. In fact, the range of synthetic polymers is a wide one and this makes them an excellent choice for an ever-increasing range of products. Bye. <laughs>